Reggie Miller is one of the best pure shooters that I've ever played against. It's hard to guard him, coming off screens. You know, he could also put it on the floor and take it to the basket. Uh, that's what they don't talk about a lot, but his jump shot was one of the purest I've ever seen. Yo, what's good, Hoop Digest fam? Today we're talking about a dude who's often left out of the GOAT sharpshooter combo, but was straight up dominating today's NBA. I'm talking about none other than Reggie Miller, one of the coldest shooters to ever lace him up. If Reggie played in today's NBA, where threes are as common as a layup and the pace is faster than ever, he'd be a problem. Like, a real problem. We're going to break down why Reggie Miller wasn't just ahead of his time. He was built for this era. Let's get into it. All right, let's take a trip back to the 90s for a sec. Back then, the game was slow, methodical, and low-key all about iso ball and post-up. Big men ruled the paint, and offenses ran like they were on dial-up internet. Reggie, though, my man was out there playing like it was 2024, running defenders into the ground, coming off screens, and letting that thing fly from deep like it was nothing. In the 90s, the three ball wasn't what it is today. Coaches weren't drawing up plays for threes like they do now. It was all about working inside out and getting to the rim. But Reggie, he didn't care. He knew the power of the long ball and he used it to change game. Hell, he used it to break heart. So imagine this, drop Reggie in today's league where shoot threes is encouraged and fast breaks are constant, he be eating no question. Now, y'all know in today's game, Shooting threes is pretty much life. If you're not letting it fly from deep, what are you even doing out there? Back in Reggie's day, he averaged about 1.8 threes per game. I know, light, right? But let me remind you, that was in a time when shooting from deep was like sprinkling hot sauce on your food. You did it for flavor, not to live off. Now, in today's league, Reggie will be straight buffet style stacking plates full of threes. We're talking seven, eight threes a game, easy, and still keeping that 40% accuracy. That's just under 10 points from deep alone. Adding the fact that today's game is faster, more possessions, and Reggie will be feasting like it's Thanksgiving every night. You add just those extra three-point attempts and a few fast break opportunities, and he's averaging at least 25, 30 points a game, barely breaking a sweat. That man would have been fortune teams night in and night out. And let's be real, he's got that Steph Curry confidence pulling up from anywhere, anytime. Now, let's talk about what really makes Reggie a perfect fit for today's NBA. First off, he's 6'7". That's right, 6'7 with the sniper's mentality. He wasn't the strongest or fastest, but with that size and length, Reggie was cooking defense. In today's switch-heavy defenses, where teams constantly rotate and mismatch, Reggie will absolutely destroy smaller guards or slower wings trying to keep up with him. And his basketball IQ? Man, Reggie was a straight-up genius on the court. He knew how to read defenses, how to navigate through traffic, and how to make defenders look lost out there. The way he moved without the ball was next level. He was out there running marathons on the court before it was cool. The only dude who might be better at that in the modern game is Steph Curry. But Reggie was doing it back when defenses had no idea how to handle someone constantly in motion. But let's not forget the real reason Reggie was dangerous, his mindset. Reggie wasn't just a shooter, he was a straight assassin. You remember what he did to the Knicks, right? Eight points in nine seconds? That wasn't just clutch, that was disrespectful. Reggie lived for those moments. He wasn't the type to shy away when the game was on the line. He wanted the ball in his hand, ready to take your soul with a dagger three. Now imagine that killer instinct in today's game. The confidence to pull up from deep whenever, the trash talk, the swagger. Reggie was built for this era of Twitter beefs and Instagram highlights. He'd be trolling defenders, then hitting threes right in their face, all while letting them know about it. If you mix Steph's range with Clay's defense and sprinkling in Dre's I don't give a damn attitude, 
you've got Reggie Miller. And don't think for a second Reggie will care about the spotlight in today's game. The bigger the stage, the more he thrives. He had ice in his veins before the phrase even existed. All right, let's really put this into perspective. Reggie averaged about 18 points per game for his career, but that was in a slow-paced, post-up heavy era. If you drop Reggie in today's NBA, where the pace is faster, the floor is spaced out, and teams are taking way more shots, numbers will skyrocket. Okay, let's assume Reggie's taking around eight threes a game, hitting them at his usual 40% clip. That's around three, four threes a game, which is already 10 to 12 points. Factor in a few free throws, as we know Reggie was automatic from the line, a couple of middies, and some fast break points, you're looking to do averaging 25, 30 points a game easy. Now, let's compare that to what he did in his time. In the 90s, the pace was slow, and teams only averaged about 85, 90 possessions a game. Today, teams are getting up 100 plus shots on a good night, meaning more opportunities for Reggie to cook. With more threes, more pace, and better spacing, Reggie would have been right there in the top scorers of today's game. And don't get it twisted, he wouldn't just be a volume shooter. He'd be one of the most efficient scorers in the game because that's what he did. Reggie was never about wasting shots. He took smart, high percentage looks, and that's exactly what would make him so dangerous in today's game. So let's sum it up. Reggie Miller wasn't just ahead of his time. He was made for today's NBA. In the league where shooting threes is the name of the game, where the pace is faster, and where off-ball movement is a premium skill, Reggie would have been one of the most feared players on the floor. His size, his basketball IQ, the movement without the ball, and killer instinct would have made him an absolute problem for today's defense. And yo, he would have thrived in the spotlight. Reggie loved the pressure, loved the big moments, and in today's era, where stars are bigger than ever, Reggie would have been a straight superstar. So next time you're watching Steph and Clay rain three, just remember, Reggie Miller was doing it first. And if he played in today's NBA, he might have been the greatest sharpshooter we've ever seen. All right, that's a wrap, y'all. Make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications.